Hey, welcome to the channel. This is MacCam89, and today I have a thrifting video for you. The last time that I went to my local savers, I was able to get a pretty good haul. Not everything game related, but some pretty cool stuff that I'm going to show you. This won't be as long as as uh, a lot of my other videos because there's not as much stuff, but uh, definitely got some great stuff there today. So. They actually had a ton of video games, just not what I was particularly looking for. But I did stumble across some consoles. And um, I almost, I wasn't sure, I almost passed on them. But I'm kind of glad that I ended up picking them up. I've restored one of them already. Um, but I'll get right into it. So the first console that I got was a PlayStation 3. All three of these consoles that I got, I have tested already. Um, and I did leave the stickers on them, so you can see I got them at Savers. This this particular model for sixty dollars. It did not come with a controller or the cables. The cables I have, and then I just used my existing PS3 controllers to, you know, obviously make sure that it works and things like that. But this is a hundred fifty gig model. Uh, works great. No issues with it. I have not opened this one up yet. I will be doing that in the near future. And then it will be featured on my eBay store. So if you're interested in getting a console that has been cleaned, tested, uh, new thermal paste, things of that nature, and uh, you kind of just want that peace of mind that it's going to run well, run quiet, um, you can check out my eBay store. It's Camara2189. I'll have a, um, a thing on the bottom so that you can get the correct spelling for it. And maybe I'll link it in the description in the description box so that you can access that store if you're interested in any of these consoles that I'm going to be uh, showcasing. So a PS3 works great. Actually came with a free game. Came with The Last of Us. So that's kind of the, the bonus sometimes when you get these untested consoles from these thrift stores because they obviously they didn't test it so they didn't see if there were any games in it. Uh, but this thing has been working great. Even without the cleaning, it, it runs pretty quiet. Uh, I didn't have any issues. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and uh, ready to go on the eBay store. And the next console is also a PlayStation 3. Also sold as is. Again, no wires and no um, controller. But same thing, I have some spare wires that i'm going to throw in there once i put it on the ebay store this particular model um, i want to say i can't remember the exact storage but i i think it's less than 100 gigs uh for these fat model ones this one actually runs pretty quiet for a fast uh fat model uh this one i did already open up i did clean it out fresh thermal paste runs great no issues connects to the internet plays this games um plays digital games so no issues with it uh, except for some cosmetic uh, scratches on the top cover but for somebody who you know really wants to they can these top covers can be swapped out pretty easily so they kind of just with the screw you just kind of slide them off and you you know they can replace it but the machine itself you know and I put these through some um, some pretty rigorous testing um, I do make sure that the, whatever their compatibility is, that, you know, everything works. So for this particular model, it doesn't play PS2, uh, but it does play your PlayStation 1 and obviously your PS3. So I made sure that both, it was reading both uh, PS1, PS3 games, and then I play it for a while playing Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, um, against AI bots, which has been a lot of fun for me and uh you know get it nice and hot so that it's running but surprisingly for a fat ps3 this this runs pretty quiet uh even after gaming for a while so this one cleaned up rather nicely plays no no problem and will also be on my ebay store um i did get a couple of duplicates in my loved again media so i may sweeten the deal with these um either both of them or one of them with a couple of extra duplicate games that i have on there as well so Again, if you're interested in a PS3 that's been nice and clean and tested, this will be going on my eBay store. But I think for the price, you know, if I didn't already have a PS3, either of these that I've shown you already, they're 
pretty great value for um for what I paid for them. Um I will mention that a lot of the mom and pop stores that you go to, especially nowadays, um, they don't clean these systems that they get in. And I remember the one that I my original PS3 that I bought from a mom and pop shop um cost me $120. And that was before, you know, kind of all this inflation and, and things like that. And it wasn't cleaned out. You know, I had to clean it out and it were, you know, it was pretty gross. So um, it's a good thing I ended up opening it up. But, you know, at least with something like this, you're going to get it from the eBay listing nice and clean, ready to go. And uh, should last you a while. And the last console that I got is a an original Xbox One what's considered the VCR model. I have not cleaned this one yet. I have tested it to make sure it worked. Uh, also came with a free game, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it was uh, Connect Rivals, I think it was. It was, you know, and I don't even have a Connect, so I can't even play the game, but hey, I'll take a free game, you know. Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. If I'm gonna throw this one on the store, I may actually just clean it up and, and give it to my daughter so that she could play. Um, I think, uh, $50 for an Xbox one that, you know, you know, even before the cleaning works well, I think that's a great deal, especially you'd be surprised what, you know, even in an older Xbox one like this is going for on eBay or in these mom and pop shops, you know, everything is kind of a little inflated now. Um, they're getting a little better, but, uh, not by much, but this is a, a great value. I think at 50 bucks and to, um, find at a thrift store did not come with a controller um but it did come with everything else um so i was able to you know test this out i just haven't cleaned it yet but i think a great value good find for thrifting i do have one more thing that i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about uh it's not necessarily gaming related but it is board gaming related and i was pretty excited to find this it is complete in box um uh, very very good condition and i did go through every miniature and everything just to make sure it was complete in box and for 17 bucks i picked this up and that is risk the lord of the rings trilogy edition so for 17 bucks it's complete in box i'll try to get some footage of the actual game itself and things of that nature or uh let me see if i can open it up here And kind of give you a view of it. So it does come with the manual or the rule book, I should say. I'm still in that gamer mode, so <laughs> call it a manual. Uh, board is in great condition. And then, of course, all of the pieces are in the the box here. So I'll try to get it on an angle so you can see it. But it comes with everything, all the cards, all the dice are there, every single army piece. Um, I didn't check what it was going for on eBay. It's got the little ring there. Um, but I think for 17 bucks, it's a, it's a great deal. You know, especially if you're into board gaming. I know this is mostly a gaming video game channel, but I do enjoy board games as well. So when I come across something like this, I am definitely going to pick it up. So that is all my thrift finds for this. I, I think I did rather well. So again, if you're if you might be interested, you can check the description box below for my eBay store. Uh, these should be going up rather soon, if not already, by the time this video comes up. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for further thrifting and unboxing videos and retro reviews. And as always, God bless.